In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Skechers Go Run Ride 11. I'm going to tell you the things I like about the shoe, things I don't like about the shoe, and some reasons why you probably should consider this as a daily trainer. Welcome to Sketches HQ here in Hertfordshire. Now, where are you in the world? Let me know in the comments. And is there a Sketches store near you? Okay, right, people, here it is the Go Ride 11. And guess what? If you're in the UK, it is available at sketches.co.uk. Now, it's one of the big things I get asked about and told about all the time is the fact of uh, lack of availability of the shoes over here in the UK. But the good news is this shoe is available over here in the UK. Okay, right, so this shoe was obviously sent to me by uh, Sketches for a purpose of review, and we're going to do the Sketches disclaimer because it's a big one first. Okay, right, so Sketches, if you don't know, sponsor the Long Run Show podcast and live stream. If you've not seen that, that's out on a Friday at 7 o'clock UK time, and it comes out as a podcast. Sketches sponsor that, but they don't sponsor this video. I don't get paid by Sketches to make this video. Uh, I don't get a script from Sketches to make this video. I'm not a Sketches athlete. Um, so, you know, I don't have to uh, run races in Sketches stuff and all that kind of business. Um, so yeah, so just for full transparency, they're not going to see this video uh, before you guys do. They probably don't even know that I'm making this video because uh, I usually ask them for the shoes and then I make the video. But yeah, that's the Sketches disclaimer before you start, you know, going off on one about, oh, he's only going to say this and that because He's sponsored by Sketches. This video is not sponsored by Sketches. Right, okay, with that big one out of, I told you it was a big one. Uh, let's talk about the Go Ride 11 because it's had some major changes. So let's do stats and features, then I'm gonna come on to the things I like and things I don't like about the shoe, um, and then wrap it up at the end. So yeah, let's do stats and features real quick. Okay, so stats and features. Uh, the shoe's 135 pounds, and like I said, it's available over here in the UK. This is a daily shoe that weighs 10.6 ounces. Uh, we've got a hyperburst ice midsole, which is new, uh, which is super critical foam. We've got a Goodyear rubber outsole. We've got a new engineered mesh upper. Uh, the stack is 35 mil with a six mil drop. We've got a training plate up the front, a little carbon infused training plate up the front. And then in the inside, we've got a, a new hyperburst insole, which includes the arch support, which is the podiatrist approved arch comfort that they've introduced in all their shoes. Now the shoe does fit true to size. There's plenty of foam, uh, as you'd expect from Skechers. It's all about comfort, which is why I love their shoes so much. It's all about comfort, this shoe, and that's what makes it, I think, really nice. Okay, so uh, daily trainer. This is uh, something that I would say is perfect for somebody who's doing maybe catch to 5K, maybe somebody who uh, is on the start of their running journey, maybe someone who uh, run commutes, uh, maybe somebody who wants a shoe that they can do all odds and sods in in the day, like, I don't know, go and drop the kids off and then run back. It's that sort of everyday shoe, the Go Ride 11. Um, and that's probably where it would fit in for maybe you and some others. So for me, uh, I was using it uh, during marathon training and obviously uh, I've been using it after marathon training. Uh, I pretty much live and breathe uh, in, <laughs> in these shoes. I just, I, for me, they're just, great and fantastic sort of easy to go shoes that you can just slip on like i said and do those different bits and bobs and then go and grab three miles it's that kind of shoe for me it's definitely been improved over version 10 and i loved version 10 but i just think with the hyperburst ice um and the improved upper it really has improved the ride Okay, so let's do the things I like. I like the Hyperburst Ice, which I just mentioned. I just like the way it's tuned up. It, it, it's soft, but it's not overly soft, and it's not too firm. I just really, really like it. I like the fit. I like the comfort. I like the Goodyear rubber. This thing is fantastic in the rain, and it's fantastic down the canal towpaths as well. Um, I like the breathability of the upper. It's quite thick, but actually it's quite breathable at the same time. I think the weight's about right for um, an everyday shoe. Um, I think the price is right at 130 pounds. And at some point I'm guessing you'll probably be able to get it a little bit cheaper than that. Uh, what else do I like? Yeah, I just I like the overall comfort and the overall ease of use of this shoe. Things I don't like is probably the, and this is gonna sound funny, but the limited versatility of the shoe. Right, what does he mean? This is not a shoe that I, as a daily shoe, that I could take long. 
Now you could quite comfortably run this long, but I'd much rather be in the Max Road 6. So it is a little bit limited in terms of, I think, some of the stuff you can do in it. You probably wouldn't necessarily do much speed work in it. You probably wouldn't much do much long work in it. So if you're looking for one shoe to do all your daily training, and a daily training for me should be able to do everything, then maybe this is not the shoe for you. This is a shoe that's like a, an everyday shoe, like I just referred to, that can do all the stuff in the day, you know, your, your life, and you can do a bit of running as well. It's a perfect shoe to, to go to the gym in and do a session on the treadmill. And it's so comfortable that you can live and breathe in this shoe and then run in it. And that's what sort of differentiates it, I think, from a, a normal, let's say, uh, daily trainer. Does that make sense? And that's simply because I like a daily trainer, like I said, to be able to do everything for me. Go, you know, recovery to long and a little bit of pace work. And this shoe is, is, is almost too comfortable um, and it just it just lacks that, I don't know, yeah, that versatility to go super, super long and, and do the faster stuff. But that's not a critique of the shoe. That's, as I say, just me and, a, and a, yeah, I suppose, a dislike. And I think that's something to be aware of. But that's about it. I just, like I said, I think this is probably, you know, my go-to shoe if I'm picking the kids up from dancing after I've done a run that I've probably done in this shoe, or you know, I'm, I'm doing something and then I'm gonna go for a run, this is the shoe I'm in. Or as I said, I'm going to London and then I'm doing a run, this is the shoe I'm in. Does that make sense? Now, obviously that goes against the versatility that I just spoke about, but I'm only doing like three, four, six miles in the shoe. Do you see what I mean? And that's why I like it. It offers that sort of, yeah, that everyday comfort, but at the same time, the opportunity to go and have a really nice run in it. Okay, so I think that's it on the Go Road uh, 11. I think it's vastly improved over version 10, which I really liked. It's so comfortable. It is insane how comfortable it is. Uh, you could spend all day in this, like I said, you commute in it, do everything else in it. Um, but yeah, so Go Ride 11, let's just conclude. It is definitely an improvement over the previous shoe. I think the price point's right. I love everything about it. It's a little bit lacking in versatility for me, as what I do, because don't forget, I'm usually marathon training. Um, but I just think it fits lovely into my rotation, because it is that shoe that picks up the slack and does those dance runs and takes me to Tesco's and then goes and does a three or four mile run.